Alright, hello guys. Today I'm going to be needing to do an update on Hurricane Michael. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Hurricane Michael. Uh, it's a very quick update. Uh, I wasn't expecting to have to do one this early, but it has certainly strengthened a lot more and very early on, more than we thought. As you look at satellite, you can see it has very good structure. Very, very good structure. Before I get into the video though, I would ask that you would please subscribe if you do like content like this, weather related videos and things like that. Also like the video if you do like the video, that way I know what kind of content you guys want me to make. So we're going to get right into it. Looking at the National Hurricane Center's forecast here, you see those M's. That means they're expecting her, uh, major hurricane status, so above category 3 status, at, or category 3 and above status at least. So we're looking at this, you know, yesterday I was calling for tropical storm to weak hurricane at most. Now, uh, category three looks likely at this point. Now, the reason for this is that the shear actually has moved north and weakened quite a bit, so it didn't really run into that shear as much as we thought it would. So it's not going to be interacting with this quite as much. So it's not going to be able to mess it up. Looking at the current model guidance here on the track, you see they put it like to put it right out around southeast Virginia area, southern Virginia area. That's at least what the mean average would be. Some of them like to pull it north, but not as many. And then here's the strength intensity guidance. Uh, you see we're already at category one status, and uh, you know over half of them I'd say like to put it over category two status, and then a few of them at category three. So I'm not going to call for category three yet, but I think that it's safe to say that we'll be right on the line of category one and category two at least, which is uh, quite a bit more significant than just a strong tropical storm. That's why I felt the need to make this update. Here's the updated forecast track. I've gone ahead and uh, extended this a bit. You see I like it to... Uh, I've kind of ditched the very western track at least. Uh, I like it to take that inland track still, but I think around southeast Virginia or a little bit north of there is when it'll when it'll head it out onto the ocean. There's still that chance that it holds on to New England and up the east coast, but I, I think it's a little less likely now. And the European even likes to put it out of South Carolina and then out to sea, so we'll have to keep a close eye on that one. Anyway guys, uh, I hope you don't mind that I made this really quick update. Just wanted to keep the most recent information here on this channel so you guys are uh, up to date. Obviously heed the National Hurricane Center's warnings, not mine, uh, as regards to if you're going to evacuate or take action. Definitely keep an eye on what they're saying. That's the official uh, government opinion, so obviously that'll override what I'm saying. So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt and definitely heed your official guidance from the National Hurricane Center. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.